Disclaimer, all topics in this video are alleged and allegedly, and they are strictly for entertainment purposes only. Y'all interview is gonna be on point, it's Jay know what he's doing. Hey, everybody, I do watch you. When you been doing your post about me, great job. <laughs> yeah, great job. I love you. Cool, tree. Wait a minute, you did your research, honey. I love it. Honey, if I need any information on myself, I need to come ask you, Jay Evans. <laughs> Jay Evans, you know exactly what to say. Yes. Get your weight up. Did y'all see this reunion for Bell Collective? Baby, I am placing this into the reality TV show hall of fame. It is one of the best reunions I have ever seen in my black life, baby. It gave me the juice and the dirt and the shade. So we're going to talk about the reunion looks because y'all were going in on it on black Twitter. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about the cast, baby, tweeting and shading each other down to the ground. They were shading each other down to the ground on stage. Baby, I thought James Brown had got on that stage and was finna shake it up and tear it on down, baby. Latrice and Marie and... Woo, Letitia, let's get into it. This is a breaking news alert. Let's go over to Black Twitter and see what Marie Monroe has to say. Y'all better get your weight up. Okay, y'all, the new lie. Okay, I ain't got no vehicle. I ain't got no ride. I'm Ike and Mike. Okay. There go my truck right here in the garage. So Monroe is letting y'all know she will not be on J Train. She doesn't need it, baby. She has a vehicle. Now those shots were fired at the reunion. And Monroe, I guess she just had to fire back to let y'all know, baby. She got four wheels that move and groove. Get your weight up. Now, before we roll into the drama, let's go over the looks. I'm going to give it to y'all and y'all can tell me what y'all think. Now, we got Monroe, baby, in a black dress with a silver accent embellishment on it. Now, on the side, she's giving us a little sheer peekaboo and it has the long train at the bottom. Now, her hair was, you know, giving that classic how she gets the finger waves and a little jazzy kind of put a little soft pink texture moisturizer in that thing and just had it you know looking like a good arby's curly fries curly curly okay monroe we like that on you so what did y'all think about marie monroe's dress baby now let's get into so gucci's look now she gave a kind of yellow kind of golden goddess look and then y'all see the reveal on the side so one side was more revealing the other side was more covered up so gucci's look it was trending as well as her hair. It was different. I thought that was a good look for her hair as well because it's something different. So y'all see the style is working the hair. What do y'all think of Gucci's look? Wait a minute. There's JJ. <laughs> now let's get into Aikisha's look. She surprised us, baby, with a pop of blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. And she gave us the lighter side and the softer side of blue. Her hair was a classic kind of look, baby. Now what did y'all think of this look with Aikisha? I heard a lot of people saying that they, they really loved it, especially the top part of the dress. What do y'all think, baby? Was she serving it? Now, let's roll into the midday diva Tambra Cherie. Now, her dress to me was a total surprise. Now, y'all see Tambra in the look, the soft pops of pink on there in her hair. A lot of people like the hair. Now, I'm not for sure, but I'm going to have to check. But my sources are telling me that Jay Structure did her dress. I'm going to try to confirm that. So, what do y'all think about the midday divas look? And next up is Latrice. Y'all see Latrice. I guess she was ready to let them know, baby. It's about to be a funeral. I'm about to dead y'all, baby. But she was giving life. A lot of people say that this gave classic, kind of like a black Hollywood look. Now, y'all saw the reveal with the legs and the gloves that she paired it with. And her hair gave people like that black Jean Harlow look. What do y'all think about Latrice's look? They say Latrice always serves it and delivers. And I wanted to close with Letitia because she posted 
about the designer that did her dress. I wanted to know what did y'all think about her look. Now, Black Twitter, y'all were vocal. Y'all thought she was trying to give coming to America. Now, she posted that she actually gave a designer, Brandon, a chance to do her dress, that he was trying to do a dress for celebrities, but was turned down. So, she gave him a chance and actually posted this which i thought was sweet but you know y'all had something to say so i want to know what did y'all think about the look i thought it was a sweet gesture what did y'all think if you are not one of my apple pies those are my subscribers you better go ahead and subscribe it's a billion kajillion people here on youtube baby and you might not come across me again be sure to set your notifications to all alerts so when i upload a new video you'll get the alert feel free to comment below in the comment section and share let's get 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 it now let's get into the real reason y'all came here baby for the juice and the dirt and what the reunion was giving baby for the first 30 minutes y'all to me it was latrice versus everybody baby okay i don't know and i cannot tell at this point who's lying who's telling the truth it's confusing now i did see marie say that the bells need to all take like a lie detector she said that when she was on instagram live and i would have to agree with that um because at this point it's so confusing was there an alliance between like Marie and Letitia and then Latrice kind of fell out of it and is telling the truth or is Latrice just saying this or is it that everybody just been talking and it's sort of caught up to them? Now, another thing I kind of think maybe production is whispering in different people's ear. Sometimes production does that on a reality show to get people to say certain things in a confessional. Sometimes they do it to stir the pot. So could that be the case? But baby, let me tell y'all something. Uh, Letitia was going in on Latrice and Latrice was firing back and she was like, girl, I don't want to be you. I don't want Cliff. And oh my God, before they left for lunch, when she was like, you are a beep. I was like, is this really going down? Even the part where Marie and Latrice were about to get into it. Baby, it was a lot. It was giving me a whole lot of 3-6 Mafia when that tear the club up, tear the club up. Y'all remember back in the day when that song was hitting in the club, baby. Now, they also got into Marie addressing Tambra about it being excluded from the Capitol. Now, at that point, Tambra was sort of like, well, I kind of thought that Letitia was going to tell her. Now, that part has come up with Tambra before when it was the thing with Gucci um, showed up to, I think they were tailgating and she said something to the effect. I can't remember exactly, but she was like, oh, I thought you would kind of tell the rest of them. So I'm not even for sure with that if Tambra just forgot but to me if you want a person there you kind of just got to tell them look I want you here or look I don't now y'all when I say this gave me my whole life and Marie was like Latrice I'm gonna beat the brakes off of you and Latrice was really like what's up though like um she was like you don't even have a car you broke y'all I was like damn like they really were going in Look, this reunion was no joke. It, to me, is a lot of stuff maybe we don't know. Maybe stuff people got going on behind the scenes. But, baby, when I tell you that reunion, just for that to be the first part of a reunion, that ain't no damn joke. Now, hopefully this show is renewed. But if it is, I just want to know. How will they be able to film together? Because if they come back, I don't want to see where it's just Latrice and Tambra filming together because that's going to get kind of old and boring. It can't be a thing where like, okay, Marie and Letitia are cool with each other. And to me, like Gucci and Aikisha, they sort of are cool with both sides. Well, sort of with Gucci and Latrice, sort of. But I want them to either like Latrice and Gucci to just be like, okay, it's a wrap on this. Because I don't want them coming back another season with the same thing. Like, they had the reunion. This was shot in August in Atlanta. Leave it in Atlanta. Like, we need to move past this. And we need to move on to some new storylines. Okay? But when I'm saying 
this reunion was iconic. It was huge, baby. It was like Michael Jackson, the first damn time he did the moonwalk on Motown 25, or the first time Prince got out there in his underwear and just played a good guitar and just shocked people. It gave me, baby. When I say it gave me, it gave me my whole black life. Now, if that wasn't enough, oh baby, they fired it up on Twitter. I still call it Twitter. I don't give a damn if y'all call it X. It went down on black Twitter. Let's take a look at some of the tweets. So those were just some of the tweets. Now, I couldn't post them all, baby, because it was so many coming. But next week, I will be reviewing the other part of the reunion. I might bring a couple of guests so I can get some different opinions. But y'all stay tuned because I might have a trick up my sleeve. But when I say that reunion gave me my whole black life, oh, baby, it gave it.